It's a Hewlett Packard 675A sweep signal generator, circa about 1968. Um, early form of a sweep generator, really, um, certainly in transistor. It, um, the early, very early systems used to use a mechanical system like a motor for sweeping a variable capacitor. This is actually done by the uh, voltage controlled oscillator. Um, so it's a, in its day, it would have been sort of state of the art, I should think. What's nice about this is not only has it got a um, an RF output like you'd expect from a sweep signal generator, but it's also got a detector input signal, which basically means there's a it had has an inbuilt detector inside it, and what that means is that you can generate a sweep signal and feed it back into the detector, and then take the vertical and horizontal output, and you can inject markers onto the uh, horizontal and vertical output, um, and see the response of uh, of chokes and things with markers. Um, there are f five options available on the bottom of these five keys here for fixed markers, but it does have horizontal markers and uh, fixed markers, comb markers, and uh, preset already at 1 meg and 100 kilohertz, which is um, probably usable, but um, ideally you want something fixed like a 10.7 meg uh, marker for IF and something like that. Um, so what would you do, I would imagine, is you just take the RF output of this uh, generator and feed it into the first uh, IF, possibly, of the um, radio under test, and the FM radio under test, and then the output of the discriminator is fed into the um, uh, detector in. You mean, you'd, you'd sweep from, say, 10.9.7 uh, meg, so this is all mechanical system, 9.7 meg, uh, up to 11.7 meg on the stop frequency, um, like that, and then you'd you'd inject that, and then the you'd inject a probably a, a I don't know probably a one meg one meg, one megahertz marker, and you should be able to see the output on the uh, on the uh, detected output through the horizontal and vertical. Now, if you look at the scope now, you can see that um, that's the uh, vertical output trace there and on the second channel is the the horizontal trace so the vertical trace shows the start of the refresh and the horizontal shows it sweeping across the screen so it's um it's, it should work quite well i need to I haven't actually set it up yet and haven't tried it on the uh on a radio but i'm going to have to do that to see see if it's going to be any good it's quite a bulky piece of equipment obviously mainly due to its age and it's uh no discrete components inside it at all. All the boards are laid out quite nicely as you expect the Hewlett Packard. You've got the options here to put the extra markers in it hasn't got. And some power supply linear regulators here. This torpedo tube shaped thing is a, uh, the oven for the uh, reference oscillator. Some smoothening caps. You've got various boards here for modulation etc. Um, but it's all hardwired. You can see it's all all sort of wired by hand. There's no, uh, no uh, sort of um, cable, ribbon cables or anything like that. So if I just show you the, strip, the raw output of the generator. So I'm going to let's, let's run it at say about a one meg. Now this is th these scales aren't that accurate, but they're perfectly accurate enough for doing things like um. Well, for example, just if you were using it for just uh, setting an IF strip, or like a standard IF strip, it would be fine. Now, let's turn the modulation is off, and we're on continuous wave. So that's a fixed frequency there. Um, that's about one megahertz. Now I can set the stop frequency to say one point five megahertz. And then I can sweep that by going to um, start stop, and that's single. So you can single sweep there. That will retract it back to the original frequency, and you've got a manual button there just to put it back. So basically, that toggles between the start and the stop frequency, and then it's just a single sweep like that. That's auto. So that's running constantly. You see, it's blurred. Um, this is a sweep speed, and as you can see, the trace scope. You can also the sweep of the trace backs and forwards, backs and falls on auto. That's single sweep. That's going up. 
and it's back again. So that's quite nice. That's, that's all the functions seem to work perfectly okay. And as I say, sweep speed is there. Um, you can also, if you select from start stop, that you can select start frequency here, and then you can sweep around a frequency. So if I, I'm starting, I want to sweep around two megs, it will sweep up and down like that. So it allows me to sweep centrally to a frequency or a wider frequency span, and we can still speed that up. So that's quite nice as well. So that all works okay. It's got internal modulation and external modulation. Percentage of modulation adjustment is here. ALC, which is they call leveling circuits, automatic level control basically. RF output pot adjustments. Um, blanking for um, retrace uh, on the horizontal and out, vertical outputs from what I understand and you can select if you want to use the internal or you're going to use an external detector You've got pen lift for uh, the old type of plotters and external frequency control so if you want to run it off an external um, signal generator you can use the external signal generator like a more accurate signal generator but still use all the detection circuitry uh, you can add markers with a, a, a pulse generator, uh, external modulation for external AEM modulation as well. But, um, nice piece of kit, um, pretty antiquated, um, but we shall see, we shall give it a go and see how we get on. But uh, yes, as I say, it's it's working now, um, a few bits and pieces need you replacing, it seems to be perfectly reliable, I've recalibrated the scale, it does take about 45 minutes to stabilise, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching.